and to be scared sometimes of speaking in public, this is the right segment for you as we are joined by a public speaking expert, that's Patience Chisanga Maya. Now, there'll be something happening very soon. That is the 20th of August that you need to look out for. Patience, welcome to the show this morning. Good morning, ladies. It's great to be back on the weekend marathon. Thank you so much for having me this beautiful morning. Thank you for joining us, Patience. We're always excited to talk to you and get all these tips that we could uh, have and our viewers could also have when it comes to public speaking. But we would like to have this discussion with you and start it from uh, the, the topic, glossophobia. Glossophobia, which is the fear of public speaking. So just tell us about this and the impact it has to executives and also entrepreneurs and young professionals when it comes to communication. Vida, a few days ago, I was on Hot FM radio and sharing in some thoughts about glossophobia. And it's quite interesting to note that it has a huge impediment on one's success when it comes to public speaking. It is simply the fear of public speaking. And an interesting fact that I came across after reading an article about the fear of public speaking and how one can manage it, is a fact that states that public speaking fear, glossophobia, ranks among the top phobias in the world. And when you look at that list of the different types of fears that people suffer from, glossophobia ranked number one. Number two was death. So think about that. It is actually a very, very serious issue, and a lot of people suffer from it. A lot of people don't come out and share that fear because they are scared of being ridiculed or being laughed at, but it is natural. Many of us face it, and many of us never get rid of it. We just learn how to manage it. So basically, that is what the fear of public speaking is. Let me give you a context. It means that if we were at a funeral, you and I, we would be more scared to give the eulogy of the person that has died than being dead. So we would prefer being in the coffin than to be the person speaking in front of hundreds of people. So it is nothing to be worried about. It is nothing to be ashamed of. It is a natural phenomenon. It is something that happens when your body gets into a flight or fight type of situation. Whenever we are faced with danger or a threat, our body gets into a mode where it has to defend itself. There's a chemical reaction that happens within our bodies. There's blood flow that happens within our bodies. And because we are scared of either being too successful or failing in our communication goals, we get into that zone. And that is just your body, your brain, your heart, your mind, your emotions preparing you of the result after you say something out loud. And most of us react differently to our fear of public speaking. Some of us will have clammy arms, you know, sweaty palms, we, mm -hmm. we are jittery, we mama, we forget our words, our memory is affected. Yeah. All those things happen when you face glossophobia. So basically, that is what it is. Being scared of speaking in public, usually because you think that you will make a mistake mm -hmm. or you're not good enough and people won't listen to you or people will laugh at you. Mm -hmm. And that eventually just affects your entire communication style. It affects whether you meet your communication goals. If you're looking for that job and you're attending a job interview, everything crumbles. Yeah. If you're selling a product or a service to a client, everything crumbles. You're pitching a business, pitching a project, giving a report in a work environment, everything crumbles. Mm -hmm. Maybe you, um, I know you've spoken uh, quite a bit on what to look out for when it comes to uh, glossophobia, but then how do I come to a moment of realization that this is my problem? Because sometimes people just say, no, maybe I'm, I'm an introvert, I'm not really into this. So at what point do I have that moment of realization? 
every every moment, Chi Chi, that you get up on stage or every moment that you get on set, trust me. I don't know, maybe you maybe, maybe, maybe Vida and Chi Chi are so good at the fear of public with, with managing your fear of public speaking to a certain extent that you don't feel it, but it's natural, it happens all the time. You will feel it in your stomach. You know, when the cameramen are counting you down, four, three, two, one, we're about to go on, your body naturally prepares you for that moment yeah, right. that it is now action time. Yeah. So it's there. We all have it. Mm -hmm. But with time, some of us have mastered it mm -hmm. because you are on radio, you're on TV every single day. That fear sort of slowly goes away because you have experienced this before. You've had the camera in front of you before. You've been counted down for hundreds or even thousands of times. So with time, you sort of master it. But it's always there. Yeah. It's always there. <laughs> even the best speaker, yeah. face it. When I was coming on the Zoom call, I felt it. Mm -hmm. A few hours before, 30 minutes before, I was nervous. Mm -hmm. And you breathe in, you mm -hmm. breathe out, you know, you, you find a way of, of, of dealing with it. So we yeah. all have it. We all we do, all. patience. I, I totally agree <laughs> with you. We all do, no matter how many times you do it, it's mm -hmm. always there, especially with the counting down, like for those who are on TV or even on radio, you feel it. For me, I can hear my heart beating. Like I literally <laughs> can hear it. And then I'm, I'm telling myself, Vida, breathe, 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 as they're counting down, and that's how I control it. But with you being an expert, what tips can you give us that can help us with managing this fear of public speaking? The first thing I want to share is understanding and accepting that it's normal. If you get jittery, you're holding a piece of paper and it's moving around, it's normal. Don't feel so bad about it mm -hmm. because we all have it. We just learn how to manage it. So the first tip I want to share is accepting that you have stage fright. Accepting that despite the fact that you have that stage fright, you can work around it. It is important to understand the underlying factor why you have stage fright. Some of us, it's because of our upbringing. You know, there are kids who are always told, don't make noise in public, don't speak in public, you know, yeah. or keep quiet, mm -hmm. you know. The time that this child is supposed to be using to be confident, to be able to express himself or herself, that kid is taught to shut up. And unfortunately, this has got a long-term effect in our adulthood stage. Because we know that uh, if I speak, someone will shout at me. There are certain kids yeah. whose parents always told them, keep quiet all the time, yeah, keep please. quiet. Mm -hmm. And when they are quiet, their parents are happy. And because of that, it's, 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 it's a seed that has been planted in us. And even when they grow up, even when they, they are in class and the teacher asks something or you are in a boardroom and the CEO asks something, you have the idea in your head, mm -hmm. but you would just sit back and you don't want to speak because you think, I'm not supposed to speak. There's someone who is better than me or someone who is capable of commenting on this issue. And so you hold back. And usually what happens is that someone else will speak up and then you'll be there saying, ah, I should have said that. Yeah. That was also my idea. You know, so understanding the underlying factors why we fear is very, very important. Mm. Then the next thing that you have to do is understand that what's the worst that could happen, really? What's the worst that could happen? What will happen? Will the ground open up and swallow you? No, it no. won't. Mm -hmm. You know, if you make a mistake, aren't you human? As humans, we are capable of making mistakes. So there's nothing to fear. When you communicate, when you're talking to people, you need to change your mindset and understand that the audience loves you. No one is watching Dam and TV so that they can see Chi Chi make a mistake. Uh -huh. They are waiting. Yeah, let's wait. Let's see Chi Chi. <laughs> you see, you mispronounce that word. Mm -hmm. But that's, that, that's all, that, those are the things that happen in our, in our, in our minds. We're yeah. thinking, you know, the whole world is watching me. Oh, I mispronounced that word. Oh my God, they'll laugh at me. So what if they laugh at you? Then exactly. what? Exactly. Mm. You know? So ask yourself the question, what's the worst that could happen? Nothing. If you make a mistake, you are human. If people disagree with you, that's okay. Everyone is entitled to their opinion. What you have to 
be happy about. Your focus, your target is to make yourself heard and to share your thoughts. So those are the tips that I want to share. If you make a mistake, laugh about it. Correct yourself. Mm -hmm. I beg your pardon. On this show, I just pronounced adulthood as adulthood. Because I'm Bemba, and that's Bemba. Sometimes we have yeah. issues with our H's and our L's and our R's. Mm -hmm. It's normal. Yeah. Simply correct yourself or laugh about it. And finally, I think one important tip that I'm really passionate about is be authentic and be passionate. Speak from your heart. When you speak from your heart, you tell your story as it is. You don't memorize words. You don't stick to the script. Sometimes it's important to speak to, to, to stick to the script depending on, on, on the scenario that you're in. But what is really important is for you to speak from the heart because public speaking or communication is not from mouth to ear. It's from heart to heart. When you speak from your heart, you won't be worried about forgetting a word or mispronouncing a word. You simply replace it. You find a synonym and just communicate. Don't be scared of the audience. The audience is listening to you. They're giving you their attention because they believe that you have something valuable for them. No one is, is listening to you so that they can laugh at you, so they waste their time. They are respecting you. So the best you can right do now, is prepare yourself to give value. <laughs> to be honest, I even feel like the class has already started. Yes. There's a lot to oh, look yeah, forward to. Yeah. Maybe, we're giving out, maybe we're giving out too much. Let's do something. <laughs> Speaking of which, I tell us, maybe you can tell us a bit more about the Executive Public Speaking Masterclass, which is going to be held on the 20th of August, what people should be looking out to, uh, for as well, and uh, just other details, how they can sign up as well. Thank you, Chichi. I'm really excited about the 20th of August. We are going to be mastering the art of public speaking. We're going to be exploring various public speaking techniques. You know, Nike has got a quote where they say, greatness is in all of us. Mm -hmm. Many of us think that public speaking or sharing our story, sharing our voices, sharing our gift of thought is meant for a specific group of people. No, it's only for them. I can't speak. I'm not good enough. I don't have a good voice like Vida. I don't have the voice that like Chichi. You can be a great speaker. You can be one of the greatest orators in the world if only you invest in it. You just have to master certain principles and certain elements. Yes, public speaking is a talent. Some of us are born with that talent, but you too can learn it. So we'll run through those principles. We'll equip you with how you can brand yourself, how you can brand this brand that startup for success. Be a masterclass, Parallels. have a team of people that are amazing in their work, include Mr. Costa, the chief visionary officer of Diamond TV. I have a very good friend of mine who's a distinguished Toastmaster, Jahon Mayea, who will also be able to share some of these nuggets with all of you on the 20 at the quorum. Any message on any social media platform on Instagram, Facebook, the name is Patience Chisanga Maya, Sanji Chisanga Maya, information, WhatsApp me on plus two six zero five five nine two nine three five five ninety or send an email info at patientschisanga.com and I will share with you everything that you need to know about this class, all the details that are related to this class and how you can be a part. Right now, ladies, we are over the halfway mark that we were targeting. So we have very limited slots. We want it tight. We want to know each and every person in that room, a friendly environment so that Okay, uh, we had a bit of a connection problem in the end there, but I'm sure everything, um, all the information that you had to put out was gotten. Patience, thank you so much for joining us on the show this morning. Thank you so much for having me. Have a lovely weekend, ladies.
Great. So we're talking to public speaking expert, that's Patience Chisanga Maya. There'll be a public speaking masterclass on the 20th of August at the Quorum. So she did give out the number that is on WhatsApp that you can reach out for if you want to be a part of that. And remember, she's just mentioning that they're almost done. Well, tickets are almost sold out. It's halfway marked that they've reached so far. So make sure to grab those tickets. So we have that up. It will start at nine hours and they're going for 650 remember it's at the quorum the number to reach on whatsapp is 0955-929314 0955-929314 so you can reach that and make sure that you grab those tickets even for the corporates you can grab that for your employees make sure that any company can grab for their employees and make sure that they attend this masterclass so they're able to at least speak their minds and be creative also speak their creativity when you're having those meetings now let's go on a short break and when we get back we have more on the show now diamond